Hi everyone. I'd like to give you uh, some tips and tricks about the way we can transit content from one app to another in the 3D Experience platform uh, within one click. Uh, so what we can see here is uh, the list of apps where we can transit or change the context that exists in one app to the context of another app in, in one click. And that usually uh, that depends on the data that has been loaded. So sometimes uh, we have it in one way, but usually it is uh, two ways uh, transition. So from one app, I can transit the content to another app and uh, back to the original app. And that depends on the type of data that has been uh, loaded in this uh, original app. Now, why we want to do this? The idea here is that I am exploring certain content, for example, in 3D Play, but I want to annotate this content. This content cannot be annotated today in 3D Play, which is more of a read-only app, uh, but I want to capture this content, I want to annotate it, I want to express all kind of uh, issues and concerns I have on, on this uh, 3D. So the way to do this today is to take the content as is and translate it into 3D markup without losing what we have done in 3D Play, because in 3D Play I can still do certain certain uh, annotations and uh, sectioning and stuff like that. But without losing this content, in one click using the compass, I can transit to 3D markup and I can do more. So I can capture this content, I can create slides and, and I can do more advanced uh, capabilities in uh, using uh, 3D markup. Similar use case is when we are exploring and editing content in 3D Compose or reviewing the interference, uh, interferences that have been created in CATIA and are displayed in the web app of Interference Check. Again, we can transit also to 3D Markup so that I can annotate this content and I can uh, add uh, some more information around these interferences or around the products and the parts that I have been exploring in the, or editing in uh, 3D Compose. And again, uh, another way is to use uh, the 3D tolerancing annotations or the features, technological features available in uh, 3D annotation inside and to annotate around this content inside uh, 3D Markup or when we are reviewing an issue using the issue 3D review, which is an app that allows me to look at the issues on the product, but from a 3D uh, point of view. Now, uh, this content may have uh, some concerns, which I would like to explore in an app like 3D Markup and also to save this content in the platform for further uh, analysis. And this way I can transit from uh, issue 3D review to the 3D markup, or I can transfer uh, the content and review it in interference check, which means that I want to explore further the content, but this time from the interference point of view. So if these uh, products which are displayed now in the issue 3D review have some interferences that have been created previously in CATIA, instead of going to CATIA or opening the interference and interference, interference check web app and again look for the product, I simply uh, take the same content, go to the compass and I transfer or transit uh, this content into interference check and then I can review all those interferences that exist or may not exist on uh, the products that have been reviewed in uh, in the issue itself. Let, let's see how this works. 3D Play, okay. <clears throat> so I'm now uh, reviewing the content in 3D Play and you can, you can see that in uh, 3D Play we have different capabilities here to review the content and to explore it and to do some analysis, for example, review that minimum distance, but I, can I cannot capture it in the platform. So what I do, I transit to a 3D markup, which allows me to capture this content and to do further, to do more, to do more analysis. And the transition is successful here. We can see this message. And now I can build uh, a markup and slides on each one of these uh, markups, which I want to uh, benefit from uh, the app of uh, 3D markup. So I can go further and do, uh, uh, for example, sectioning and more. Uh, content uh, measuring and so on and so forth and building slides for each one of these uh, measures and these uh, annotations. 
And again, this is something we save in the platform. So, and the same here, I am reviewing now uh, the interferences, but I want to capture some content. I want to express certain concerns on these interferences. So again, I translate to a 3D markup and from 3D markup, I can build the slides. I can build annotations on these interferences that have been created previously in CATIA. And from the issue, I can also transfer the issue to uh, interference check. And here I can review the analysis that have been done using the interference check content that has been created previously uh, in CATIA. Thank you.